Home Start is a local nonprofit organization whose mission is to end homelessness in Greater Boston by assisting individuals in obtaining permanent housing. Now, on Thursday, February 15th, Home Start will be hosting its 12th annual iCycle event, the only Boston all day outdoor cycling spinning event that takes place in the winter. The event will take place on the plaza of one international place and feature hour-long spin classes to raise awareness and raise funds, funds for the fight against homelessness. Now, over 400 riders participate each year as a reminder to all that spending just one hour out in the cold, rain or snow, is nothing compared to be living without the comforts of a home. Here to give us some details, we've invited Matt Pritchard, he is Homestart president, and along with him, Kate Trevor, a board member at Homestart. Welcome to Urban Update. Both of you, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, Matt, if I can start with you, just just tell us a little bit about, about Homestart, what it is. Sure, thanks so much for having us, Byron. This is a pleasure. Um, Homestart, as you said, um, is our mission is to end and prevent homelessness in greater Boston. We do that um, in three ways. We find permanent housing for hundreds of individuals living um, on the streets and in shelter in the city every year. Um, we provide stabilization services for about 500 people a year who have the most acute needs associated with their episodes of homelessness to make sure that they can retain their housing. And we prevent um, nearly 500 households a year from experiencing homelessness by way of preventing them from being evicted for non-payment in Boston. Where do you find the housing? How do you go about doing that? We have relationships with hundreds of property owners all around Boston. And you know, it's um, given that the inventory is so small, you know, initially our relationships were primarily in the city. Now it's in the, um, you know, Revere, Lynn, Saugus, Everett, et cetera. But it's very difficult in this environment. So Kate, t take, talk to me about uh, the annual event, your 12th year, the iCycle event, how do you describe it to people? Sure, so iCycle is definitely um, very close to my heart. I've been fortunate enough to participate in all 12 um, iCycle events, and this this has gone from a very small event. Um, we had six bikes our first year, and we have now grown to over 40 for every single hour that we ride. So from seven to seven, you will see 40 people um, each segment riding and you know, shouting to everyone walking by and trying to raise some awareness to this um, this very big problem that we have in Boston. Mm -hmm. Now, for those uh, who may have missed my intro, I guess, why do, you, why do you do this in the middle of the winter? Mm -hmm. You know, so much of it is there's a question of, like, how can we, um, allow people an opportunity to understand that there are hundreds of people every night sleeping on the streets of Boston. And, um, you know, it's easy to read a headline in the Globe and forget about it, but if you're looking for an opportunity to raise awareness that, you know, we're out here braving the elements for an hour, but there are people living out here, it was just an opportunity for us to have a platform to communicate that message. And my goodness, like there were, you know, over 1,100 families in the city of Boston last year who became homelessness, homeless by way of eviction that we could have prevented if we had enough resources to do that. Um, and so, again, as the fundraiser of, you know, allow us to bridge that gap, help us, help us eliminate the crisis in the city. Now, Kate, uh, I hear that the sports team mascots and a lot of local media celebrities are going to be out there making special appearances to uh, support the riders this year. Yes, of course. Um, we just we really try to have a good time. Um, we encourage everyone to really get involved in not just this event, but also with Home Start in general. Um, we really count on the funding that comes from this event, and it's a, and it's really fun time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I hear that uh, you have something new this year. The Home Start's going to be you're going to bestow the first annual Cycle Cup to the team that has the greatest um, team spirit and raises the most money. Yeah. It's a, so the teams that participate have so much fun that over the last number of years we've said how can we sort of celebrate the fun that's had and also the great fundraising that's done and so we have a Stanley Cup replica that we've branded the iCycle Cup oh, that's fun. and um, the team it's it's slightly subjective but there is the sort of the the amount raised as an objective figure of saying what team brings the most um, to you know solving the problem with us and will have their name and they get bragging rights and will be able to keep the Stanley Cup in their office for a year. How much money are you trying to raise with all this? Do you have a figure? Or We're what? trying to raise over $200,000. Okay, and, and the money, again, will be, that money will be used how to 
pay for the housing that you find for people? Yeah, so it's one of those critical um, funds that we allocate to the $2,000 it takes to prevent a family from experiencing homelessness. Um, it costs $30,000 to house a family in the hotel and motel system, and we have a very efficient way to prevent it from happening. And then with the housing search, too, it's very small amount of money in the social outcomes of our clients to find them housing and place them and stabilize is so much less expensive than the emergency shelter system. Okay, to, uh, how many riders are you going to have or do you expect to have? Um, so we're, we'll be over 300 riders this year, hopefully closer to 400. We have a few spots open, so if anybody wants to participate, um, please visit www.icycleboston.com or homestart.org, and you can sign up right on there. Well, open spots still available. Okay. Now, talk to me about, I'd like to know how each of you got involved with Homestart and why. Um, let's start with you, Matt. Sure. No, for me, it's, you know, I'll, I'll make a long story very short, and that is, um, in the late 90s, I lived in a homeless shelter in Boston and learned from my bunk mates that if they could just find a Homestart advocate, they know they knew that they could permanently end their cycle of homelessness and so for me it's you know for nearly 20 years i've understood the critical kind of invisible glue that homestart plays in the homeless service ecosystem and you know i've you know recently has um, become the executive director of homestar i mean we're in a position to create maybe the largest impact in in reducing homelessness than I've ever seen before through our eviction prevention, homelessness prevention program. And so it's an exciting time to be with Homestart. Kate, what about you? How did you uh, get involved in Homestart and, I and why? I actually um, got involved with iCycle. So I was, um, I was the first spinning instructor. I do that on the side. Um, and I led a team of six people in the first iCycle um, 12 years ago. And every year since, um, I've been involved. And I have recently um, become a board member to to really connect um, you know my passion for ending homelessness in Boston okay and uh, once again I guess how do folks sign up and um, I guess what uh, what does the typical team look look like is it friends family members co we have we have just about everything so we go from corporate teams to family and friends and we even get people from you know previous years coming in and just hopping on a bike and and joining us for the hour. And signing up again, it's very easy? Yes, icycleboston.com or homestart.org. Um, Matt, what about the trends in homelessness? I mean, is it, are there, is, it, is, it, is it growing? And uh, kind of wrap it up with this segment here. And also, how do you function in this uh, yeah. climate where we're building all these million dollar condos and yes. not enough um, affordable housing. You know, I'm glad you asked, Byron, because most people don't think that the average age of a person experiencing homelessness in Massachusetts is eight. Mm. You know, people have a vision of who it is that's experiencing homelessness, and it's not that. Um, Massachusetts is one of two states where the proportion of families um, who experience homelessness exceeds individuals. Okay, I'm going to have to leave it right there. Mm -hmm. Matt Pritchard, Kate Trevor, I cycle. Yes. Thanks for coming in. And Byron, this yes, this is a special gift to you, Byron. Well, thank yes, you. Thank you. I okay. cycle. We'll see you out there okay. in the cold, Byron. <laughs> I'll check the temperature before I go. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks a lot for coming thanks, in. Byron. Well, that's it for this edition of Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. For all of us here at Urban Update, have a great Sunday, everyone, and go Pat! Thank you.